is day number nine of Poetry with Grandma. I know that I think you all like the poem about waltzing with bears and that Walter just thinks that's extra special. And I think you guys will all enjoy this group of poems I'm going to read today, but I think Joy is going to be extra excited to hear them. This book of poetry is called Insectopedia and Poetry and Paintings by Douglas Florian. So normally I say they're the author and the illustrator. This time I'm going to say they're the poet and the illustrator. The caterpillar. She eats eight leaves at least to fill her, which leaves her like a fatter pillar. Then rents a room inside a pupa and checks out Madam Butterfly. How super! The Dragonfly I am the dragon, the demon of skies. Behold my bold, enormous eyes. I sweep, I swoop, I terrorize. For lunch I munch on flies and bees. Mosquitoes with my feet I seize. I'm the dragon, down on your knees. The Daddy Long Legs Oh, Daddy, Daddy O, oh, how'd you get those legs to grow so very long and lean in size from spiderobic exercise? Did you drink milk or chew on cheese? And by the way, where are your knees? Oh, Daddy, Daddy O, oh, how'd you get those legs to grow? The Army Ants Left, right. Left, right, we're army ants. We swarm, we fight. We have no home, we roam, we race. You're lucky if we miss your place. The inchworm. I inch, I arch, I march along. I'm just a pinch, a mere inch long. I stroll and stick on sticks and thickets and never pick up speeding tickets. The Praying Mantis Upon a twig I sit and pray for something big to wend my way. A caterpillar, moth or bee, I swallow them religiously. The Black Widow Spider I'm a widow, I always wear black, from my eight dainty legs to my shining round back. But do not disturb me, my fangs carry venom. I am a widow, but I don't wear blue denim. The Io Moth. The Io Moth has mammoth eyes. They are not real, they're a disguise to ward off birds and other creatures like garden snakes and science teachers. This is really interesting how he chose to write the words in a circle. It's called the whirly big gig beetle. We whirl, we twirl, we skate, we glide. A pond, a pond, or lake we ride. We swim in circles like little toys without the wind up keys or noise. The whirly gig beetle. The weevils. We are weevils, we are evil, we're aggrieved since time primeval. From our down-curved beaks we bore, into crops and trees we gore. We're ruinous, we're rotten, we drill holes in bowls of cotton. We're not modern, we're medieval, we are weevils, we are evil. Yeah, they're not a bug that makes farmers very happy. The walking stick. The walking stick is thin not thick. It has a disappearing trick. By looking like a tree or stalk, it lives another day to walk. A lot of these poems are pretty short, so I'm reading a bunch because they're not taking that much time. The hornet. A hornet's born with yellow rings ending in a point that stings. 
She builds a pulpy paper nest in which you choose to be a guest. A hornet is an insect killer. She feeds her babies caterpillars, spiders, flies, and if she's able, pudding from your picnic table. The tree hoppers. They're hip. They hop on tops of trees. They skip on tips of twigs with ease. They lunge. They plunge. They lurch. They lope. Imagine what they do with a rope. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are thin. Mosquitoes are rude. They feast on your skin for takeout food. That was a really short poem. The monarch butterfly. He is a monarch. He is a king. He flies with great migration past nations he wings. He is a monarch. He is a prince. When blackbirds attack him, from poison they wince. He is a monarch. He is a duke. Swallows that swallow him frequently puke. And monarch butterflies don't taste good. Most animals know if it's orange or brightly colored, it's probably not going to be good for them to eat. The giant water bug. The giant water bug can lug his eggs upon his back. He gives them extra care up there and guards them from attack. The mother glues them to the dad and on his back they stay. But does he ever get a card or gift for Father's Day? The termites. And again, he did an interesting thing with his words. He built a termite tower. Our high and mighty termite mound arises far above the ground and just as deep grows underground. Our nest is blessed to be immense. It gives us all a firm defense, superior to any fence. It shields us from our enemies. It keeps us cooler by degrees. From floods and droughts it guarantees a prize nobody will assign in architectural design, but still our hill suits us just fine. The termites. The crickets. You don't need tickets to listen to crickets. They chirp and cheep for free. They fiddle and sing by rubbing each wing and Neville will charge you a fee. The locusts. Hocus pocus, we are locusts. On your farm we swarm. We focus, we choose to choose your grain, your grass. They disappear each time we pass. The ticks. Not gigantic, not romantic, not artistic, not majestic, not magnetic, not aesthetic. Ticks are strictly parasitic. And we're glad when all the hens and chicks eat them all up. The mayfly. A mayfly flies in May or June. Its life is over far too soon. A day or two to dance to fly. Hello, hello. Goodbye, goodbye. Insectopedia by Douglas Florian.